We'll show you how easy and quickly it is to create a test with test trigger for uh, UI testing challenge. Uh, let's call it uh, RESTful Booker. Now, what we need to specify is a URL. Uh, and we have username and password. We do not have one, uh, but let's use admin. Uh, we do not need any test to be generated. Zero, create test suite. Perfect. Now we can come back here and click on test trigger icon, start new recording and uh, fill out the form email phone subject and message Click Submit. We will validate this message. And now we go to Admin Panel. We click on this Admin Panel in here. And we will use Admin Admin, which is not a correct username and password, because I do not have one to try to login and we will validate that we were not able to login. Well, let's stop the recording. Select the test suite and call it um, to check the message. Our goal, name, email, phone number, subject, message oh click submit sorry click submit this was subject description and this is our validation we do not need the click we click on admin panel um, and then instead of all of this we will do login because we already have username and password stored and then we just validate whether we're not able to log in add and run get back this is our test we will expand it in here what's going on is uh, test trigger starts a new server starts a new browser and starts to execute tests steps once it, uh, the landing page is loaded which we specified in there and voila it's all done and it highlighted where this message is log into your account so this is a kind of a template for the test uh, now uh, we can make it even parameterized and uh, specify name and uh, email and the phone as parameters but let me just quickly show you how does it work so we were entering as uh, data in here and click the button highlight it uh, like the uh, after we click submit that we have this message then we scrolled and click on admin panel and we got in here so we said login and login means that we entered username and password which are stored there first and then we clicked on login button and then we validated that we have this uh, message still on the screen and that is it uh, this is as simple to create a test with test trigger thank you so much